Well, there is no denying the fact that when it comes to Android customization, Nova Launcher is surely one of the best Android launchers that you will find on the Play Store. Hey guys, this is Arvind here and today in this video, I'm going to show you the top tips and tricks of the Nova Launcher that you might not know and that you should try. So without further wasting any time, let's jump right into the video. So the first thing is called hidden folder. So here is a great way to access all your most commonly used applications quickly and without littering up your home screen. For example, I have this folder with all the Google applications in it so what I will do is that I will long press the folder and then I will go to edit option from here I will turn on the option that says swipe to open folder and in the swipe action option I will select the first item in the folder so the folder will be replaced by the icon of the first application that is there in it and when pressed the icon will open the first application but when you will swipe up it will open the folder showing all the application that are there in it so it is really a handy option if you want to hide your folder of applications applications. Next thing that you can do is called swipe actions on application. For example, if I long press the camera icon and go to edit, there is an option called swipe action. So from here you can select what the swipe up gesture will do when you will swipe up the icon of the particular application. For example, in my case, I have selected it to be Snapseed. So whenever I will swipe up from the camera icon, it will open up the Snapseed application, which is a very handy option. Next thing that you can do with Nova Launcher is the swipe actions on the home screen. So, so most of the users know this thing and most of you don't. So what you need to do is you just need to go to the Nova settings and from here there is an option called gestures and inputs. There are a lot of options in gestures and input section and for example there is an option of swipe up and I have set it to open the app drawer so whenever I will swipe up anywhere on the home screen it will open the app drawer. So you can choose any action for swipe up, swipe down, pinch etc. Next thing that you can do is double tap to lock the screen. So again you need to go to gestures and inputs and there is an option called double tap. Tap on it and there you need to select the option that says screen lock. So from this option you can just lock your screen just by double tapping on the home screen. So the app drawer is Android's one stop shop for all of your application but how about making it more discreet home screen style arrangement? Well by default in Android the app drawer is one page but with Nova Launcher you can add extra tabs to it. So for this you need to go to apps and widget drawer option then go to tab bar and then you need to turn on this option. Once the app option has been turned on just go down there you will find drawer groups and just tap on it, tap on this plus icon on the top right corner and there you need to add the title to the tab that you are making. So for example, I made a tab of game. So I will just go to select tabs and then I will select all the games that are there on my Android device. And once it is done, then you will see that whenever I go to the app drawer and then I swipe to the right hand side, then the game section will open revealing all the games that I have. So having app drawer tabs is great, but you can make the setup even cleaner by using keyboard emoji instead of words to label them. For this you need to go to Nova settings again, go to app and widget drawers, drawer groups and then you need to change the name of the tabs to any emoji that you want. For example, I have changed the name of photography tab to the camera icon. Next you can change the scrolling orientation so if you want your app drawer to be vertical or horizontal or in the list style then you can change all these in the Nova settings. So you just need to go to app and widget drawers and there is an option called app drawer style so you can set it to be horizontal or vertical or list. Last but not the least, you can try out the experimental features in the Nova Launcher and you will not get any option for this. So what you need to do is whenever you are in the Nova settings, then you just need to long press the volume down button and you will see that a new option will be added to the Nova setting which is called the labs. So by this option you can try out all the experimental features that are not available to normal users. This option can be enabled only by long pressing the volume down and if you want to disable this option or remove this option from Nova settings then just long press the volume up button and that's it. So that's all about the tips and tricks of Nova Launcher. If you like the video then share the video with your friends, subscribe to the channel and I will catch you in the next one. Together.